What's going on guys, The Hungarian here. Today we're going to be doing a review on a company called MPB.com where you can buy, sell, and trade used camera equipment. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. We'll look at the first, uh, as we're kind of opening it up, we'll look at you know the way they package it. To me, they packaged it very well. Um, so th this was kind of the first thing I came across other than the wrapping paper. This is my order number, my order invoice. I purchased the camera on the 19th, so that's February 19th, and I received it on the 21st. So this was on a Friday, and I ended up getting it that Sunday. That's like two days. That's unheard of. So, I mean, that's like really quick. I ended up purchasing the well-used Fuji X-Pro1 for $324. That was the cheapest used X-Pro1 they had. And they and I end up buying the good Fujifilm XF 18 to 55 2.8 for 304. I end up let's see, I end up paying 652 dollars. Delivery was 24. So I did pay for the shipping. They did have they did offer free shipping. That was like a week out. I wanted it a little bit faster, which I think it gave me a dead like a deadline of the Wednesday. By paying the shipping, and somehow or another, I ended up getting it in two days. So that was great. I ended up getting this. I think this is, uh, I don't know, some inspirational words maybe from MPB. Uh, tells you what they buy. So, a little reading material. So as you can see, I end up getting two boxes. One's the body, one is the lens. Let's open up the body. Very nice box. Obviously, it's a aftermarket box. It's not the factory Fuji box. I'm fine with that. Once again, for me, this is I mean, it's very well wrapped. Now I have used this camera already since then. Obviously, I couldn't wait. So I did put the strap on there. The battery's already in it. It did come with an aftermarket battery and charger. So that's the camera. We'll look at that a little closer here in a second. Let's put that down. Let's pull out the lens. Similar box. Great wrapping. Uh, condition they had this listed, the lens listed was as good. I mean, I haven't found a nick, scratch, or anything on this lens. I mean, the lens is in great shape. Oh, this is an amazing lens, too. Amazing photos. So that's it as far as the box goes. All right, so let's look at this body. So it came with a body cap, didn't come with a strap, came with a battery, no memory card. And the lens, lens cap. Oh, it did come with the lens hood. That's, uh, I'll put that somewhere. I'm not sure where I put that. But it did come with the lens hood. And once again, on their website, as you're going through cameras, trying to pick out your, uh, your camera, They'll list the description, the condition of the camera. They'll also take, so they'll have like say, we'll use the X-Pro1. I think they only had like three choices. So that means they only had three used cameras in stock. Each of them were like a different grade. That was a good, that was a, uh, that was a well used, which is the one I purchased. And I think there was another good. Different price points. And each each camera each each listing had different pictures, obviously. So this camera had it showed all the little scratches, all the nicks, all the little bits of character that this camera has. Below that, it'll give you the description. Let's so make sure you read it thoroughly, so you you are getting what you want. I mean, besides the little nicks and scratches and 
little dings here and there. I mean, I can't complain about this camera. Like I said, I've had it since Sunday. I've used it every day since almost. I mean, it works great. Now, this camera didn't, uh, as far as I know, I couldn't find a shutter count where you could pull up a shutter count being a mirrorless camera or being that it's an older camera. Um, so I don't know what the shutter count is, but being it's a mirrorless, I don't think it really matters that much. I do have to say, though, when I purchased this camera, so like I said, I bought it on a Friday. I was all excited. Bought it, $652. I was like, all right, awesome. I'm going to get it in a week. So in between that time, I'm going through a panic attack because now I went back to their website. They don't pull the listing because obviously they sold the camera. And I couldn't remember, well, is the camera functional? Did it, Was it missing pieces? And did I buy a bad, uh, broken camera? So I'm going through like a panic attack and luckily it came Sunday, so it didn't last very long. And I mean, everything works great. I got nothing to complain about. Everything was packed. The shipping was quick. I've got I got emails, you know, all the way through those two days with the tracking. The tracking was kind of goofy because, and I don't think it was on MPB. I think it was more uh, FedEx. It wasn't really updating me when it was going to come. It was still telling me it was going to come like Wednesday. It ended up showing up Sunday. I mean, the guy, you know, walks up to the door. I mean, that's I don't think that's just great. Was it worth it going through MPB, buying a used camera? Hell yeah, you can't find a better deal than that. If I'm not mistaken, make sure you guys look it up. They do offer a warranty. So if you don't like the camera that you get, you get seven days. And then I believe it comes with a six-month warranty. If something happens, you know, that's not my fault. If I don't drop it or, you know, throw it into a swimming pool or something stupid, then they'll try to repair the camera. Um, you can't go anywhere else and get a better warranty than that. You know, you might come up a couple of dollars cheaper buying it, you know, from Craigslist or eBay, but it's not going to have a warranty. The camera could shut down or whatever you're buying could break immediately. And now you're out, you know, God knows how much. So, yeah, to me, it's well worth it. They described everything like it is. I would definitely recommend MPB. You know, for if you're looking, if you're in the market for a used camera, that's where you need to go. They got several listings. You can get your cameras, your lenses, your tripods. You know, you can go digital, DSLR. I mean, they're the place to go. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribed. Let me know what you think. You know, give me a thumbs up. All you guys that's already subscribed, I just hit like a thousand. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I'll see you guys later.